Hello, hello, beautiful people! Welcome back on my YouTube channel, Ivana Tero. This is weekly love tarot reading for zodiac sign Sagittarius. <laughs> okay, sit back, enjoy, have some fun, and relax. Weekly love tarot reading, 28th of February until March 6th. Go figure, March. Don't forget comment, like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Prosperity begins. Oh, thank you, Lord. By the way, this is beautiful Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Money is coming. Unexpected windfall. Sages, you are doing obviously something right. Money situation is getting better and better with every single new week which is in front of you. Every day, every week, you are getting stronger and stronger. So we can see some seeds, right? But this also could be a harvesting, you know, time for many, many of you. You don't have a job, don't sweat, you will get one. You have no money, don't sweat, you will find a way. What? This is so much bigger than I thought just 10 seconds ago. Prosperity begins. Well deserved reward. It looks like you are uh, at the peak of your season. You are top at the top. You are, you, you are the very best in something. Mm, intellectual property. Mm, finding, you know, some real special career in some extremely big, you know, company, something big, something, something very lucrative. But I think many of you have business of your own. Could be a small one, could be a big one, could be guys, you know, whatever. So, those two tarot cards mostly are connected with money and finding a way to be happy with your money situation. Okay, new beginnings. I mean, what can I say? Okay, you will hit the jackpot. Believe me, my beautiful sages, there is no other way how I can describe and translate those three cards. New, new, new. Lucrative, 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 lucrative. You know, money, money, money. Korea. Um, Lime lights will be on you. When it comes to uh, love, I can see beautiful baby. You are starting with a completely new cycle, pregnancy, marriage, buying a house. I mean, you can do whatever you want, you know, you can do whatever you want. You enter it, most likely after this full moon in the sign of, a full moon in the sign of Leo, right? You made a promise, you made a decision, or this person, your partner made a decision and promise about you, arrival, arrival, you are flying you are going, you are coming back, decision about, you know, what you want to see in your life, you are making decisions, but everything will happen in a, such a natural way, you will be, you will be rewarded, you know, for a lot of things you have done, and I think behind your back is like a struggle, big, 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 big struggle, this prosperity is not a gift, this reward is not a gift. I'm not talking about gift. This is something that you will earn. But still is very, very uh, big. Could be something connected with your family. Love, 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 love. Commit to me. I think you already committed. If you are attached, commit to me. If you are still single, then... Be ready, because this person will ask you from a first date, um, you should commit to me. I want you to commit to me. I can't be in a relationship with you if you are not committed, you know, type of a person, right? Or maybe this is you saying the same words to them. Either way, this week is about arrival, this big success, and commitment don't allow yourself your partner to repeat like a parrot again 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 
will you commit to me will you commit? when you don't allow such a thing to yourself right because i think you want to be i think you want to stay with this person capricorn virgo taurus eris leo capricorn virgo taurus eris leo someone is arriving in your life eight of swords eight of swords is a, such a nasty card you know seven of swords and eight of swords and ten of swords you know i i really don't like eight of swords but okay let me think first of all let me think before i say anything at all uh this is some insecurity having no power cutting people from your life because you are unhappy insecure from inside but i'm not saying this is you you know um maybe you have such a person in your life if this is you change this pronto now yesterday you don't need you don't need this in your life if you're dealing with a person who is lying to you a person who is procrastinating you know decisions let's say you call them um every single day and this person is saying no i don't have time i will call you in a month or in a two you know weeks or you know blah 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 whatever cut this person from your life for good this could be a friend you know i'm not saying this is your partner lover boyfriend you know girlfriend or your spouse you know so eight of swords do talk about you know it's a feeling of being you know unhappy like having no personal power over nothing no this is not you my beautiful sages you know it's out of the question this is this is more like like you know person with which person with no power this is exactly what it is you know oh shoot nine of swords stay away from people who are dragging you down stay away from people who want to make you adore mate honey this is your chance to shine this is your chance for a new beginning no you do not want to commit yourself to such a person stay away this could be a toxic extremely co-dependent person who want your money who want your strength who want your energy stay away this person is no no look at this arrival 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 and commitment yes you know what will happen already metro card high priestess which is such a beautiful card which talks about subconscious i don't know something mm, you know what to do you know what to say you don't like people who procrastinate everything every single day every single decision you don't like that like you know say it once and for all so this person is trying to avoid confrontation with you you know whatever high priestess hmm cancer Pisces scorpio is secretly in love with you i don't know do you like this person because this person is very silent not showing openly how they feel about you even though we have commitment arrival and a new beginning hmm you don't like people who are very silent you know spit it out say it you know okay can suffice scorpio shy person uh nine of cups yes can suffice scorpio beautiful person person who want to pamper you person who want to nurture you if you are already married if you are a woman i can see pregnancy twice in your reading so i think you are ready for this if not protect yourself spirituality will be very important for you and also in your life there is a very mysterious person who want to have a love affair with you whether you're a man or woman whether you're single or attached i don't know if this is good for you sages you know you can lose your inner peace and you don't need that if you want to hear my opinion because you are preparing for the biggest 
success in your career king of cups i was right cancer pisces scorpio and beat enjoy in this week enjoy in commitment enjoy in love i think this person is your soulmate maybe even your twin flame this person is nice neat decent and with a, such a beautiful manners it looks like lady and gentleman enjoy your future enjoy your present and don't allow other people to drag you down sages i'm talking about big moment this is your biggest you know moment of your life show yourself and be proud of who you are and of your achievements comment like share subscribe god bless